Hello there. My name is Corey, aka Yard Buddha. But right now my lawn is not looking very Buddha esque. So this is my video, very first video. I'm calling it Man vs. Poa. And I've had a Poa problem for quite a few years now. I really didn't realize until I had it maybe like a year ago of what it was and how much it was taking over my my grass and so this year I am planning on battling it. I know a lot of people have problems with POA and I live kind of in a colder climate. I live in Washington State in Spokane, Washington where we get quite a bit of snow during the winter and it really doesn't get super hot and especially in my yard because I have lots of shade in my yard. These are some huge ponderosa pine trees that uh, the sun rises over there and then about noon the sun uh, finally hits my yard and I probably get maybe four or five hours of sun back here on just certain portions of my yard so the poa really never died out during the summer um, i know that's what they say is if the poa gets too hot then it will uh, just die naturally because it is an annual grass um, but mine just kind of keeps on wanting to live especially with all the the shade and moisture that it gets back here so what i've liked to do in this video is just kind of tell you my process. I've considered completely round, putting a roundup all over the grass and just starting brand new, but I know there's a years and years of poa seeds still down in the soil, so it's still going to come up. And probably only 30 to 40 percent of my yard actually has it. And so I'm going to I'm going to try to do an organic process, which I prefer to, to do uh, organic gardening if I can. Um, and I'm going to try to manually use my dethatcher to take up as much as I can. And then if I still see, you know, tons and tons, tons of poa all over the other parts of the yard, then I may rethink this process, but that's my strategy right now. Um, this is a mixture of Kentucky bluegrass and even some ryegrass and even some fescue. So it's just kind of a, a, a shady, cool season mix that is good for the Pacific Northwest. Um, so. I think my main problem was about five years ago I put a new septic field right in the middle of this yard and maybe seeded it with some bad seeds and the uh, the poa just kind of went out of control. Um, I did try to do a little sodding, resodding over here last year just with some Kentucky bluegrass. But I, I think I still just have too much shade in my backyard for it to, to be that uh, excited about being back here. So what I'm going to try to do this year is overseed with some tall fescue after I uh, manually dethatch this as much as I can. Um, I may end up spraying some spots with with the Roundup um, if I have to, if it's just too entangled with the existing grass. But I mean, this POA has got such a loose root system that you can, you can pretty much just pull it straight out of the ground. So I'm hoping that my dethatcher pulls a lot of that out of the ground. I'm also dealing with dogs over here peeing all over my yard so that's another thing that uh, I've, I've done some research on 
on a tall fescue and it says it's good for shade and good for traffic good for dogs and stuff so that is my plan right now um, yeah just the the number of seeds that that poa has dropped I know that there's just tons and tons in there and so even if I round up this entire yard and replant it with new grass I know it's going to continue to pop up here and there so it's just grass we're just going to uh, do what we can try to do um, instead of uh, resodding the entire thing for thousands of dollars you know it may take me some some hours and some time um, but this is man versus poa so we'll see how it goes I've got some much shadier spots over here that I've even had some moss problems that I've dealt with you can see where I've kind of hand torn up a lot of spots really the only thing I've done to my yard this year it's it's a little bit after uh, St. Patrick's Day middle of March um, the, the only thing I've done is I've taken a blower and kind of just fluffed everything up a little bit to let any mold or anything dry out so I I do feel like I know quite a bit about grass um, but this is this has been a problem this is where my dogs like to go to the bathroom over here so this is their main spot I'm in the process of training them to go over here in the bark so I'll let you know how that goes but yeah so this is my first video I expect to show the next uh, process of me dethatching everything seeing uh, what is still in the yard if there's anything more I can manually you know use a uh, another like rake to thatcher to bring up if it's still way too much then I may do a little bit of roundup and then probably our seeding time here in Spokane is probably not until the middle of May so a couple couple months from now and I already got the seed and I'll throw a little light layer of compost over the top of that and we'll see how it goes but this is project number one so if you guys are interested in seeing how this goes please give me a subscribe and we'll see you later